Howdy, it's Tubal Cain again with another video, but uh, just a reminder here that please subscribe to my channel. Under Mr. Pete 222 or Tubal Cain, I have over 300 videos on machine shop, so check them out. Also, check out LFE, that stands for Learning from Experience, and there's the website, www.lfe.com. I have my complete courses on the Atlas lathe and the South Bend lathe available at this site. There's also a free video on there called uh, Building a Sterling Engine by Tubal Cain, and that is not available elsewhere and has never been on YouTube, and that is free. As long as I've got this Monkey Ward's 10-inch uh, Logan lathe uh, apart, uh, also sold under the Powercraft name, but is made by Logan, uh, some people wonder uh, what's inside of the apron. This is the apron that is uh, part of the carriage, and there's the uh, hand wheel, and uh, this is the uh, knob here for the cross feed, and this is the half nut lever, and this is the thread chasing dial. But let's take a look what's on the other side of it. And I spent quite a bit of time cleaning it. Uh, it was filthy in there. A lot of chips jammed up in there. But uh, let's look at the back side and uh, see how it's made and what each part is for. This Logan lathe actually is an entry-level machine uh, sold under the Powercraft name. And it does not have a clutch. If you bought the 11-inch, which was a little bit more expensive, it had a clutch. But uh, in this case, we just have the half nut lever and then the uh, uh, power cross feed. But uh, the longitudinal feed is done with the half nut lever. So let's take a look at the individual components. First of all, the carriage hand wheel here allows you to traverse the carriage from left to right. And when you do that, what you're doing here is turning a, a series of gears and then this gear here rides on the rack. Remember that the rack is underneath the lathe bed and that moves you back and forth like rack and pinion steering. This of course being the rack underneath the lathe bed or the, these are the ways and then that gear that I just showed you allows you to move the carriage back and forth like rack and pinion steering. This is the lead screw. Remember that the lead screw is an Acme thread and it's precision made. It needs to be taken care of and that's what provides the power into the apron. Notice that there is a keyway in there and I'll show you uh, what that does here in just a second. But the uh, lead screw of course passes between here and through this hole comes out this side and when we operate the half nut lever sometimes called the split nut it just opens and closes and it clamps it down onto the lead screw that is a positive drive if you crash the lathe something has to give on lathes that have a clutch there usually is a system there of slippage so you won't damage anything but there is no clutch on here, so that's the half nut lever, uh, half nut or the split nut, operated by the half nut lever used for threading. And when we're threading, this also rides the thread chasing dial here rides on the lead screw. Looking at it from this view, there is the key that rides in the keyway that I just showed you on the uh, uh, lead screw, and that is what drives the gear right here causes it to rotate so on this little Logan lathe when you actuate the half nut lever that is used for both threading and longitudinal feed and that is not uh, true on all lathes especially those that have uh, a clutch so this serves a dual purpose again for threading and longitudinal feed. Now when we operate the cross feed, and again that is this plunger right here. So when you move that in and out, what you're doing is engaging or disengaging this gear into a gear on uh, the uh, cross slide or on the saddle and it uh, moves the cross slide. And I'll show you that in just a second here. And the bevel gears of course change the uh, uh, motion from this way to this way, just 
a 90 degrees change in motion. Purpose of a bevel gear. As simple as this is, there's quite a few gears and this is a, is a mechanism here that you can see uh, cost probably quite a bit of money to make. And this is the whole saddle assembly, upside down of course. And uh, these V's here ride in the uh, ways of the bed. And there's a gear right here. And that gear meshes with that cross feed gear that I just showed you a moment ago and in turn drives the cross slide and gives you a power cross feed in one way or the other. The lead screw is now installed, notice, through the half nut and uh, through the hole in here and keyed into this keyway here. So when the lead screw rotates, look what happens, it is of course turning this gear which can be moved in and out for cross feed. Now that power transmission again is through the key and the keyway. Nothing to do with the half nut lever. That is in the uh, neutral position, the open position. Now when I engage the half nut lever that just opens and closes the half nut onto the lead screw provides a positive engagement and you can see how necessary it is to have all of this lubricated so we do put oil on the lead screw and keep the lead screw clean you don't want chips getting in there and there was an incredible amount of chips in here forced up into there by uh, cleaning the lathe with compressed air which to me is a major no-no this again is the thread chasing dial used only when we're threading on the lathe so we keep it backed away from the lead screw like in a neutral position except when we are threading and then we bring it up into contact that is we mesh it with the lead screw and then we lock this screw right here but when you're done threading back it off it saves wear and tear have you noticed on this uh, thread chasing dial here it seems like they misdrilled it right here and that it's at a bit of an angle and it is at a bit of an angle but the purpose of that is to uh, match this gear with the uh, uh, helix angle of the thread. I think I'm using the right terminology with this Acme thread. Now the system with the key and the keyway here allows you to move the carriage back and forth and there's always power provided uh, to the mechanism here no matter where you're at what position your carriage is that's the purpose of that and that's it for this little tutorial on uh, the carriage apron and the mechanism and how it works on a little Logan Powercraft Monkey Wards lathe I hope this was helpful. This is Tubal Kane signing out saying so long for now.